Today I'm going to show you how to use Swiss Performance to disable unused JavaScript and CSS. Um, it's a little feature I like to call Slim, and it's down here at the bottom. We have this lovely box uh, where we can enter rules to disable JavaScript, disable CSS, any pages we want, or site-wide. And there's some instructions here on how to use it, but I'm going to show you how to use it. So the first thing we need to do is go to one of our pages and look for the show JS slash CSS resources button. And this will let us see uh, all of the JavaScript and CSS that is being loaded on our page. It breaks it down by uh, core files, plugin files, and theme files, and then sometimes there's stuff that we don't know where it came from, but it's on your page anyway. Um, but let's take a look. Um, so one uh, common example uh, with plugins is contact forms. So on here I have a bunch of plugins. So there's an Instagram plugin, and we've got Elementor, and what not else but we also have uh, a contact form plugin and so we're looking for that and we'll find it eventually there it is contact form 7 so what we're mostly looking for is the handle here but then uh, this bit will show us exactly what rules we need if we want to allow this resource only on this page or disable it only on this page or disable it everywhere we just use the handle um, we can also uh, separate multiple pages so if you want to enable it on five pages and not the other 42 you can do that or vice versa um, we are going to allow it only on the contact contact page so we'll use this as kind of a, a template. So we copy that rule and come back over here. And instead of allowing it on that blog post, we're going to allow it only on the Contact Us page. So plus or minus the beginning tells you what's being done to this file. Plus says to allow it only on this page. Um, and so then we list the page and they're separated by commas. A minus would say disable it everywhere or um, if we list pages, it'll disable it on those specific pages. And then we have a colon and then the script or CSS handle as it's called. All right, so we've got that there and we're going to save and then we can refresh the page to see what happened. So of course, you know, nothing visible here, but we just disabled a resource. So if we go down here and let's go ahead and search for that so that we can see what happened. And here we go. We've successfully disabled the contact form seven uh, resources on all of our pages except for the contact us page and we can see here the active rule that is being applied to this page and this script um, and in this case this actually applied to both uh, the JavaScript and CSS so if a plugin is using the same handle for both their CSS and JavaScript that's the way it works